Greetings and thank you for giving us this opportunity to journey with you throughout this week. We've been talking about a positive mindset, which is so important for us personally as individuals. It also affects those around us. You know, our mindset does affect other people. And so we've been talking about various aspects or elements of a positive mindset, and we've looked at uh, several different uh, aspects. Today, as we close this out, I want to bring our attention, attention to having a generous mindset. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 7, the Bible tells us, Let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. So this generosity, this being generous, the Bible says, you do it as you purpose in your own heart or in your own inner self, which includes your mind, your, the way you think, the way you purpose. So it says, you give, you be generous, but let it come from inside you. One of the things I want to encourage us to have is a generous mindset. Now, when we say generous, it doesn't mean to be lavish in spending on our own selves. You know, that is being self-indulgent. I'm not saying be generous to yourself, you know, spend on your own self. But we're talking about being generous, which is an expression of kindness to people, to others, to be able to uh, release things so that it can bless other people. And generosity is actually an aspect of God. The Bible tells us in James 1, it says, you know, God gives to all men liberally. For God so loved that he gave, that giving is a characteristic or a virtue of God himself. And so we must have a generous mindset. And what motivates our generous mindset or generosity. Of course, we're imitating God. But the Apostle Paul makes the statement in Acts, the 20th chapter, 42nd verse, he said, and he said, the Lord Jesus taught us, it is more blessed to give than to receive. There's a blessing in giving. There's a blessing in releasing. There's a blessing in being generous. Therefore, you have a gener gener generous mindset. You're willing to release. You're willing to give. You're willing to let go because for you, a subtraction always results in a multiplication. When something is subtracted out, that is, we are giving out, it seems like it's a subtraction, but you know it's going to result in a multiplication. So it's never a loss. It's only a gain. It's more blessed to give than to receive. So, how about developing a generous mindset? It's good for us. It's a healthy mindset. It's only good for us, but it's good for people around us. They're going to be blessed. And people love to be around somebody who's generous and kind. So, have a positive mindset. It's good for us. And it's good for those around us. Let's develop that. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you would give us the grace to develop a positive mindset. That we ourselves can journey through life with a song in our hearts, with joy in our lives as we go through various life situations that will also be a blessing to others around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.